हेलो वेलकम टू माय स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिजीज दिस लेक्चर इज इन इंग्लिश एंड इफ यू वांट टू स्टडी इन हिंदी जस्ट क्लिक ऑन आई बटन एंड यू विल गेट लिंक ऑफ हिंदी लेक्चर और यू कैन डायरेक्टली विजिट टू चैनल माय स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम वॉट इज डिजीज डिजीज इज अ कंडीशन इन विच हेल्थ इज इम्पेयर or in other words we can say that departure from the state of health is called disease when our body is not at ease then it is disease or it is an alteration of the human body interruption the performance of vital functions according to webster's dictionary disease is defined as a condition that prevents the body or mind from working normally and according to oxford dictionary disease is defined as a condition of the body or some part or organ of the body in which its functions are disrupted or deranged what are the concept of causation as the evolution of concept of health concept of causation of the disease also evolved before 19th century supernatural theory of disease was widespread accepted everyone believed that the disease is caused by either the curse of god or due to evil forces people used to please the god by prayers or witchcraft activity to tame the evil forces During 19th century germ theory of disease evolved germ theory of disease is generally referred as one to one relationship between causative agent and the disease the disease model as per this theory is that if disease agent is present interacts with the man or human being and disease is appeared germ theory of disease also had many limitations so a new concept evolved that is known as epidemiological triad epidemiological triad shows the interaction between host agent and environment according to this theory presence of all these three factors are necessary for a disease to occur later multifactorial causation concept evolved according to this concept the disease is caused by many factors the term agent is replaced by causative factors the concept was able to explain the causation of non communicable diseases and also where a single agent is not responsible for any disease next one is web of causation mcmohan pu and ipsen suggested that a linear causation chain or multiple uh, factors does not take into account for many disorders a complex interaction between each component of the chain is necessary to disease to occur this can be understood by the example of heart disease web of causation so according to this this is heart disease and there is a web of causation so lot of factors are there here you can see physical activity cholesterol genetic factors stress hormones then obesity and then all interaction between uh, these factors they lead to health disease so linear causation or linear chain of causation is not sufficient here it is web of causation what is disease agent the disease agent is defined as a substance living or non living the presence of which or lack or absence of which may initiate the disease process the disease agent may be classified into different groups such as biological agent chemical agent physical agent nutrient agent mechanical agent or social agent etc 
biological agent what are the biological agent these are living agents of the disease and these includes bacteria virus fungus protozoa etc chemical agents these are endogenous or exogenous chemical agents which may produce diseases and these are acids alkali metals etc physical agents these are excessive heat cold humidity pressure radiation electricity sound etc and over exposure to these agents may result in illness next is mechanical agent chronic friction pressure and other mechanical forces may also result in crushing tearing sprains dislocations and even death nutrient agent nutritional deficiency diseases occur due to deficiency of nutrients such as vitamins minerals carbohydrates etc social agents social agents of disease includes poverty smoking abuse of drugs alcohol unhealthy lifestyle social isolation maternal deprivation etc now we will discuss some important terms these are infection infection is defined as entry and multiplication of pathogenic organism in the body and what is nosocomial infection a nosocomial infection is contracted because of an infection or toxin that exists in certain location such as in the hospital and it is also known as hospital acquired infection incubation period the time between exposure to the infection and appearance of sign and symptom is known as incubation period and what is window period it is the time between first infection and when the test can be reliably detected detects the infection or appearance of antibodies in the blood endemic and epidemic endemic disease the constant presence of a disease or infectious agent within a given geographical area or population group or community it is endemic disease normally it occurs in a particular area or we can say normally occurring disease of the area and what is epidemic epidemic is defined as sudden increase of the number of cases of a disease than expected in a given area or community over a particular period of time then another term is pandemic pandemic is defined as an epidemic occurring over a very wide area several countries or continents are affected the usual affecting a large population proportion of the population hyperendemic disease a disease that is constantly present at high incidence in a particular area is known as hyperendemic disease thank you students for watching this video for such videos you can uh, uh, subscribe the channel and you can like facebook page also and for making your notes don't forget to visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com here you can find all the notes you can follow me on twitter instagram and join facebook group nursing notes thank you have a nice day